as you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson. It seems that you've been living two lives. In one life, you're Thomas A. Anderson, program writer for a respectable software company. You have a social security number, you pay your taxes, and you help your landlady carry out her garbage. The other life has lived in computers. One of these lives has a future, and one of them does not. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Matrix. Do you want to know what it is. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. <sighs> Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. You scared the bejesus out of me. Sorry. It's okay. Is that... The Matrix? Yeah. Do you always look at it encoded? Well, you have to. The image translators work for the construct program. But there's way too much information to decode the matrix. You get used to it. I, I don't even see the code. All I see is blonde, brunette, redhead. Hey, you, uh, want a drink? Sure. You know, um, I don't know what you're thinking. Because right now I'm thinking the same thing. Actually, I, I've been thinking it ever since I got here. <sighs> why, oh, why didn't I take the blue pill? buried the elf. Yes. It brought me here. You are very unusual, is it? How did you come by this sword? It's complicated. Why did Bellatrix Lestrange think it should be in her vault at Gringotts? It's complicated. There is a sword in Madame Lestrange's vault identical to this one, but it is a fake. 
It was placed there this past summer. And she never suspected it was a fake? The replica is very convincing. Only a goblin would recognise that this is the true sword of Gryffindor. There are more than a few curious things in the vaults at Gringotts. And in Madame Lestrange's vault as well? Perhaps. I need to get into Gringotts. Into one of the vaults. This is impossible. But with you, no. Why should I help you? I have gold. Lots of it. I have no interest in gold. Then what? That. That is my prize. Walnut? Dragon heart string? Twelve and three quarter inches? Belonged to Bellatrix Lestrange, treated carefully. Hawthorne, in the unicorn hair, ten inches, reasonably pliant. This was the wand of Draco Malfoy. Since its allegiance has changed. The one chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. That much has always been clear to those of us who have studied wand law. 